cose. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make aesthetic advanced jean shorts on Roblox. Obviously, if you want to make just regular jeans, you can follow the same tutorial and just make them a little longer. And by the way, if you guys are looking for some aesthetic -y Valentine's Day outfits, just check out my group. It is called Lovable with a dot here. Click store. And we have a bunch of cute aesthetic Valentine's Day outfits, which you guys can go purchase right now. And since Valentine's Day is tomorrow, I just want to say happy Valentine's Day. I hope you get that chocolate that you're waiting for. Unfortunately, I am lonely this year, so I will be buying my own chocolate. Anyways, um, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So those who are new to my channel, I use Pixlr.com to create any type of clothing. I just feel like it's the easiest for me to show you guys. And yeah, so I'm going to type in Pixlr.com. It should bring you to this page. So from here, we are going to click Pixlr E. And once you're at this page, we are going to open the template. I suggest using the template that has like this Christmas lights. It will be linked in the description down below. I just feel it's easier to work with. So to open your template, you are going to want to click open image and just select the file that it comes with. So once you have your template open, we are going to start off by making a new layer by going to layer the new layer. We are going to zoom in a little bit. You can either use the hand here, or if you have a mouse, you can use the little scroller thing. And as you can see with this template, it shows the middle of the template and like the middle of the side. And I just feel like the concept is more easier to learn off of. And yeah, don't worry guys, I got you. It's in the description down below. I suggest staying in between these little lines here to make it either a low rise or a high rise pair of jeans. And if you want it to be a high rise, I suggest just staying right underneath this second pair of Christmas lights. We are going to start off by choosing the color black for our outline of the jeans. So just click one of these little circles here and just select black. Once that's finished, we are going to go to the shape tool here. We are going to go to draw. Make sure you're on that new template that we made. Click align and make sure it's either on two or one depending on how thick you want your line to be. And now we are going to create a horizontal line by just clicking and dragging. You can obviously move the line if you don't like it where it's at by going to arrange and just moving it down a little bit. Now we are going to go back to the shape tool and make a little line underneath. Once that's finished, we are going to add these two lines on every side of the torso, so the right, the left, and the back. So once you have that on every side of the torso, we are going to zoom in again. And obviously this set of Christmas lights here means it's the middle of the torso. So we are going to go back to the shape tool and just make a straight line going down. I suggest you not making the line going all the way down because it just makes it look weird. If it goes down there, it just looks completely weird because that is basically like the little zipper on the jeans. And I, I just feel it looks weird. So make sure you are leaving in a space in between this black bar here and the black line. So to create the little fly on the jeans, we are going to use this bezier tool and we are going to create a line that's kind of far away from the other line by just clicking and then attach it to close to the bottom of the other line like so. Let go. And you should just have this effect by just moving your mouse you're not even clicking anything. So once you have this effect, we are gonna create the little zipper type thing, the little fly. So I suggest making a little J shape like so. If you don't like how it looks, just keep retrying and you will definitely get it. So 
So once you have it however you want it to look like, we are going to make the side pockets of the jeans shorts. So we are going to make sure we're on the shape tool again, make sure you're on bezier, create a new layer if you like. We're going to zoom in a bit and to make the pockets, we are going to start off with a little bit of space in between this little line here and wherever you want it to be. So I suggest clicking and then dragging by making a diagonal line, let go, and just create that effect that we did with the zipper. After that, we are going to go to the arrange tool and then we're gonna click duplicate, flip horizontal, and just add it to the other side. Now we are going to go back to the starting little pocket. We're going to click duplicate, flip horizontal, and just add it to the other side. And you're going to want to do the same thing for the other side. Once you're done that, we are going to merge all the pocket layers by starting with the last one that we made and then we're going to click Control 6, Control 6, Control 6, making sure that all of the pocket layers are in the same one. After that, we are going to make the little button on the jeans. So we are going to click Layer, then New Layer again make sure it's on the top we are going to go to the shape tool here go to circle and just create a little circle like so i like to be extra so i'm going to go to the shape tool and then bezier tool and just make a little curvy line so it kind of makes it look like it's coming out a little bit once that's finished we are going to focus on making the belt loops so i suggest using the shape tool again use the line tool this time going to layer, new layer, make sure it's on the top, zoom in, and I suggest doing them in between the pockets and the little zipper here. This is kind of tricky, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't matter what they look like. So I'm going to make a little diagonal line like so. Obviously you can't really tell because it's really small. Now we are going to make a straight line, attaching it to the diagonal line. And we are going to make another diagonal line going right, like so. So if your line looks like this, you are doing it right. I know it might be confusing, but it does take time, so keep on practicing and you'll definitely get it. So once you're done doing that, we are going to go to the Arrange tool. We are going to click Duplicate and just move it right next to it, creating a little belt loop. To merge the layers, we are going to just click Control 6 so it's more easier and if you want you can just easily move it to where you want it to be and now we are going to click duplicate and then add it to the other side just add it wherever you want on the jeans so now if you want to you can merge all of the layers by clicking Control 6 Control 6 Control 6 and Control 6 so it's more clear in the layer tab here once that's finished we are going to create the pockets in the back of the jeans so we are going to zoom in in the back of the torso we are going to go to the shape tool again click layer click new layer we're going to start off by starting on the left side here we are going to make a little horizontal line go to this bezier tool make a diagonal line and we are just going to create a little curvy line like so I'm going to go to the select tool here and just select the access that we don't want. Select it and then click backspace on your computer. Go to arrange, click duplicate and just add it to the other side. Once that's finished, I am going to merge in the layers so it's more organized. So I'm going to click control six on my keyboard. I'm going to go back to the shape tool and you can just add some funky lines into it, making it look really unique. And once that's finished, we are going to go to duplicate and then just add it to the other side once you're done making the pockets i'm simply going to merge in the layers again by clicking Control 6 on your keyboard and just merge it again with the whole outline by clicking Control 6 again now we are just going to add a little bit of detail to the outline by going to these, these two circles and choose white as the color. Once that's finished, we are going to click layer, the new layer. Make sure it's on the top by clicking and dragging. And now we are going to go to the shape tool again, go to line and just create these little lines that are on the outline. No, they do not have to be perfect. You'll see in the end results, it'll just make it look like it's more detailed. So just cover the whole template with the these little lines here.
I know, I know, it probably looks totally weird and you're probably laughing at me right now, but trust me, it will add more detail to your jeans outline. So, um, trust the process. Once the hard part is finished, we are going to click layer, the new layer. We are going to drag it to the bottom underneath the background layer. We are going to click select and just select a huge rectangle including the jean outline and the bottom of the torso and now we are going to go to this little circle down here and just select the color that you want your jeans to be once that's finished we are going to go to this little fill tool here and just click anywhere in the rectangle since we are making shorts today i'm going to make a little rectangle including these little squares here and including only a little piece of the leg so once you're finished you are going to go back to fill and just fill that right in go to select click anywhere all right everyone so once you're finished doing that step we are going to import these two textures that i have here they will definitely be in the description down below but to import them we are simply going to go to layer and add image as layer and just select the file that it is so once you have the first texture uploaded we are going to fill in the whole colored area with this texture So once it's filled in like so, it should look like this unless you're making jeans. But if yours looks like this, perfect, you are doing it right. And now we are going to click these three dots. We're going to click this blend mode and make it an overlay. Once that's finished, you can play around with the transparency if you'd like. And now for the fun part, we are going to go back to the outline, which are the black lines that we started off by making. And we are going to click these three dots again, make it an overlay, and just play around with the transparency. You're going to want to do the same thing with these little white lines here. I'm going to click these three dots here and then play around with the transparency. So now to top it off, we are going to import this texture and I'm going to link this in the description down below as well. So I'm going to go back to layer, add image as layer and just import that file. Once you have it imported, we are going to match it up so it's filling in the whole template. You can make it bigger if you want. Just make it so it's filling in the whole shorts. And now we are going to go to the select tool and select the access that we don't want. After that, we are going to do the same concept by clicking these three dots here and go to overlay and just play around with the transparency. To add more detail, I'm going to add some ruffles. You don't have to do this, but all I'm going to do is click layer, new layer. I'm going to go to this little pen tool and make sure it's on white. Make sure the layer is on top and I'm going to make sure I'm on plain and I'm going to make these little squiggly lines. Obviously, if you want to add a belt, you can. I'm going to show you guys a quick little tutorial on how to make one. So I usually go to layer, new layer, choose the color that you want your belt to be. I am going to go to the select tool, zoom in a bit, and make a skinny little rectangle where the belt would go usually. I'm going to go to this little bucket tool, fill that right in. And now I'm going to click these little three dots here, make it kind of transparent so you can see the little belt loop. And now I'm going to go to the select tool again and just select where the belt loops are. Just click backspace on your computer. Once you're done making it look like it goes through the belt, we are going to click these three dots again and make it to 100. Once that's finished, I like to make a little heart with it. So I'm going to go to the shape tool and then click heart, choose the colors that you want the heart to be, click layer, click new layer, click and drag, creating a heart. I like to go to the wand select tool 
select the white part because I don't want that. I kind of want it to be like just an outline. And once you have it selected, I'm going to click backspace on my keyboard, go to select, click anywhere, go to arrange and just move it where the bell is. So guys, this is the finished result. I hope this taught you guys something new. Please remember this does take a lot of time and this is for more advanced designers. And if you're willing to do it, that is great. And I hope you succeeded. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much and have a great day. Bye.